space with a tiny sun. Hey, I'm FTFE. Welcome back to the channel that puts rocks in stupidity's pockets and throws it off the nearest pier. Thank you guys for coming back again. This, uh, this, this marks now, what, four days of FTFE content in a row? Because, you know, who the fuck needs sleep, right? Um... We're going to have a conversation again today with someone that you've seen before. It's the Cation with no education. It's the Anion. It's the Anion engineer, even. Uh, it's Trey Hutchinson. Trey, welcome back to the channel. How are we doing? I'm doing fine. How are you, Craig? I'm doing fantastic, as always. So, uh, you agreed to come back. Um, you're screen sharing already. Uh, what, yeah, what do you I just want everybody about? to see this kind of like off the rip. Okay, well, Just, uh, currently you're not showing me anything in your screen share. Oh, is it not showing anything? Okay. No, it, it's just a black screen that says $2 tray has started screen sharing. Um, there we go. Weird. There we got it. That's, that's up now. So uh, tell us what we're seeing here, Trey. This is pretty interesting. It um pretty much is stating how... There's evidence humans didn't actually see blue until modern times. Um, okay. And uh, I came upon this, and um, <clears throat> it uh, kind of sparked, you know, inspiration to start looking elsewhere for reasons that people might had not seen blue before the 1800s. Um, uh, and okay. one of the things it led me to was this right here. Only two tabs. God. Those are rookie numbers. Oh, we'll get in. We'll have some tabs open before we get. Oh, good. I like high, really high, high IQ research. More tabs equals more more IQ. Okay. And reading what I. You don't want to use uh, Wikipedia, but this is really interesting, especially this thing right here about the Earth's largest ocean being discovered underground. And okay. reading what I. If you want to uh, really look into it, it looks like this. And um, it's essentially the same density as, well, I wouldn't say it's the same density as diamond, but it's very, very strong, hard, hard to break. Um, essentially, what it has inside of it is liquid water. And this li liquid, or not liquid water, but a it's a water that is compressed extremely, extremely, like, I would say, very very high levels of compression on it uh, i can't think of the exact word right now um, pardon me but it okay. seems to be blue and the way that this is formed is from this right here is it only can become 
ringwood ite through the uh, pressure and heat that would be about that of our uh, upper crust or mantle. Uh, you know, under, I'm sure you understand volcanic activity and, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Well, um, it comes from a material called olivine, which is a very, very, very prominent material in the world. It's a silica base, same as ringwoodite, yet it is a a mineral that also is capable of creating uh, oxygen from CO2. Uh, it operates similarly to plant uh, chlorophyll or the actual plant um, uh, stage of uh, photosynthesis, but it's a stone. And once it is exposed to extreme amounts of pressure and heat, it turns into ringwoodite, which is blue. And that kind of led me to my next, I'm going to call this a hunch because, you know, it's, it's just that. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just asking questions. Um, so so where, where's this, this going? I am saying that ringwoodite is possibly what the firmament, which sets above a flat earth, is made of. And what would give you that idea? The fact that the only other place that ringwoodite comes from is meteorites. So that means it's made from the dome? Possibly. I'm not, yeah. I'm not uh, saying. I mean, there's a big problem not... with that entire thing, and that is that there, there is no firmament, you know? So, well, um, there, I mean, there is. I mean, there, there really isn't. Uh, we've we've sent but, stuff I mean, up. We know there a friend is. of mine I mean, sent what? something up to thirty, you know, six thousand meters, and there wasn't a firmament. Um, when they went to the moon, they didn't pass through a firmament. There's definitely you can't not a prove firmament. They went to the moon because I, I could show you. I actual... absolutely can demonstrate that they factually went to the moon. Um, no, you difficult. can't. No, I absolutely one hundred percent can. Uh, you cannot. And, and no, I, I absolutely one hundred. I one hundred percent can. Absolutely, one hundred percent. You one hundred percent can. Uh, no, I, I, I'm not going to argue with you. I one hundred percent can demonstrate that we went well, to the moon, run, and we did not per, go through a firmament when not. that happened. So um, I, there I is can, no firmament. And another way I know that there's no not. firmament, Trey. Another way I know that there's no firmament because um, if, if there was a dome over us and gravity wasn't a thing, then there would not be a pressure gradient of, uh, of our atmosphere. There would be a Oh, there is a density. pressure gradient. Do you know that the pressure gradient there, is based there, upon the There actual... is a pressure gradient, yes, but there would not be if the Earth was covered by a dome and gravity didn't yes, exist. Yes, there would. The fact no, there that wouldn't. there is a dome is the reason there is a pressure gradient. No, the reason there's a pressure gradient is gravity. If there was, if there was a dome and nothing else, it would not cause a pressure gradient because the definition of gas yes, pressure, wait, the definition of gas pressure is to have equal density throughout. And that is what we would have if the Earth was had a dome over us and gravity wasn't we a thing. We do have equal density without. That's why no, we you don't. don't have we have a pressure thermi- gradient. That is not equal density. Your pressure gradient is based off of what? That would be your humidity. No, it's based off of the pressure and the, the density pressure. of the air. You're talking about bar- barometry. Okay. Yeah, uh, pressure. yeah, so there is an atmospheric pressure gradient going from 14.7 PSI up to practically zero PSI, where the density decreases the higher you go in altitude. That would not be possible if gravity didn't exist and we were covered by a dome. Actually, it would be if you consider the fact of the um, actual temperature, um, what's that called? The uh, thermal conductive radiance of the actual dome is a lot cooler than that of the surrounding air. Therefore, the cooler air would grav- gravitate toward the center anyway. Uh, yeah, but there's a or, um, a linear pressure gradient that goes from extremely dense near linear, the bottom. What's the word point... linear mean? The word linear means an actual average. It's an average No, it, of the No, numbers. it doesn't. It means like a, a yes, straight, it you know, it goes, it doesn't you know, fluctuate. It goes in it, one direction only. You know, it, it does not. Yes, it, it does. does. So it, it, it does. No, no, no. Trey, Trey, Trey. I don't think you understand. The atmospheric pressure is most dense at the bottom and least dense at the top. It's not in the middle. It is a progression of density. 
It is a progression of density that goes from 14.7 psi up to practically zero psi. What is, are you what is are the, you what are is, you denying is, are you denying that there is a pressure gradient that goes from 14.7 psi? No. Are up you to denying that zero linear PSI? gradient means average? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, what does it say right here? What does a line graph mean? Does a line graph mean it is a period? I didn't say line graph. I said a linear, as in one effort. direction. Yes, it does. I'm showing you right here. Look, a yeah, linear yeah. gradient is defined by an axis. Oh, yeah, straight up in one direction. Two or more color point. Each point on the axis is distinct color to create a smooth. Okay, gradient. let's move away from the word linear because that seems to be conf trade stop, tra tra stop, trade stop, trade tra tra stop, trade stop. Let's move away from the word linear because that's obviously confusing you. No, there is a no, pressure. It's confusing you because you tra don't know what linear means. Trey, tra stop talking. Trey, stop talking. Trey, stop talking. You there is a tra There is a pressure gradient that goes from 14.7 psi up to practically zero psi. It goes in only one direction. It does not fluctuate. That is what linear means. One direction. Linear. Not average. Read that for me really quick. That says, a rate of which a physical quantity such as a temperature or pressure, pressure changes in response to changes in a given variable, especially distance. Yes. So. And the, okay. Uh, right, okay, you're not understanding, Trey. There is a pressure gradient in our atmosphere that goes from 14.7 at the bottom to practically zero as you go up. The only thing that could cause that is an acceleration acting downwards on stuff. A dome would not cause that. Even in containers on, on Earth. Um, so if you get like a, a, you know, a helium container or, or an, a, you know, any kind of container that has a gas in it, that container still has a pressure gradient inside it because of the gravity on earth the only way you would have you said it wouldn't be possible if, yeah but that if there was no gravity that's the caveat that i am that i have given right if gravity didn't if there exist, was no gravity but yes. gravity is a theory gravity is not a theory gravity is not a theory gravity is not a theory no gravity is not a theory gravity is not a theory what is the theory of gravity? Yeah, there is the theory of gravity, but gravity is not a theory. The theory explains no, what that gravity is. No, that is your is. predisposed opinion that gravity No, 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 no. Gravity is factually a thing that's verified by experimentation. No, it's yes. a... <laughs> um, it's still a theory. No, it's a... There is the scientific theory of gravity, but gravity, gravity is actually a natural a, law. A it's only a theory, and that's the National Center of Science. The NCSC says gravity yeah. is only a theory. Try reading the what it actually says. All right, because okay. gravity All is not a theory. Gravity is a natural theory. law. No, it's a law that Sir Isaac Newton made up. Yeah, a natural so law. It's not a law. <laughs> it's not. A yeah, law. It, it's it absolutely is a law. The I've law of gravity, gravity is a thing. It's okay. a natural law. Gravity is a theory, not a fact, regarding the natural law of attraction. The material should be approached with an open mind, studied carefully, and critically considered. You do not. Do oh, this is. A, you, you do open... realize that you're reading from um like a um uh, a joke you article, mean an right? NGO, yeah, no, you, you do realize movie. that you're reading from a joke article, right? That's not a joke article. That's literally a joke article. Uh, the National Center for Look, Science. Read what it says. Textbooks disclaimers are down but out. This satiric. Uh, go back up. This satiric. This... Go back up. Go back up. This this satirical look at only a theory disclaimers imagines what might happen if advocates applied the same logic to the theory of gravitation that they do to the theory of evolution this is a joke article you are quoting this from a joke a, oh, well i guess that if it's a joke article then that means your national science Center no for they, they've literally got a disclaimer there saying that it is satire but it's einstein's theory of gravitation newson's theory of universal gravitation what is Gravity, national space place. Gravity is what holds the planets. So yeah, I can't believe you just quoted it's from a joke article as your evidence. That's it's fucking not a brilliant. Joke article. Go it's back a, up and it read it again. Forward. Read it again. This satirical look. The entire page look, is satire. Added, you totally it is sat. Trey, Trey, it's satire. It's satire. Look, look it's literally satirical. telling you there that it is satire. 
This is not a dude. It was literally added later. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. They totally it was added later. Uh, evidence for that claim, please. They threatened these people. Evidence for that claim, please. It was added later. That page that you just quoted from is satire. It's not satire. It lit. Go back to the page and read it again. This okay. satirical is this, look. Is, is this, is this, okay. Is this satire as well? Th that's the same page. No, it's not. Is the universal theory of gravity is typically thought in schools in the form of a fact, which is actually correct, to be honest. The universal this is the same thing. It's the same text that you just read, just posted on a different website. Uh, does, I don't see a disclaimer here, though. Yeah, it's the same text, though. Then it's not the same text, sir. It's the same but look, text, but without the disclaimer not, for some certainly reason. Certainly, the existence of tides is often considered as an excellent. Yeah, it's gravity. the same text well, from that joke article. Explain to me why tides don't affect freshwater bodies. Because they, they do. The state, they absolutely they do. do All lakes have tides. Do? Okay, let's look. Let's look. Why don't? Why? why, why let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Really I, I really can't believe that you're using a fucking joke article as your evidence this is fucking amazing i can't believe you believe this is going to make one of the best this is going to make one of the facts. best shorts i have ever done it's going to be a short because i've already proven that you're sitting here saying a theory is a fact you can't even tell the difference it, yeah okay Look, well let me ask you a, a quick question so do you know the difference but theory no they don't you can't no scientist have a says fact that gravity about is a theory, the, but sir. the thing is, there is a big difference between scientific theory and colloquial use of the word theory. No, Do you doesn't. know that? Yeah, religion. It depends on if your religion is science. Uh, no, 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 no. It, it depends on what How the actual many term means. Say it's a theory. I guess that people that don't know people... what they're talking about. Science alert doesn't know what they're talking about. Okay. Uh, so, um, no scientist that. says that gravity is only a theory. Only the You're joke satire article. Show me the, only the joke degree. article that you, you just me. read says okay, that gravity no, is only that, a theory. No, that gravity says that. That says that. Okay, is gravity yeah. a theory or fact? Okay, it's a science. There is the scientific. Like, like, is Trey, stop talking. Trey, stop talking. Trey, stop talking. Trey, stop talking. Trey, stop talking and listen, okay? There is the scientific theory of gravity, which contains all of the knowledge and experience and evidence that we know about gravity. And in science, the scientific theory is the highest bit of, um, you know, word that you can give something to say that it's as close to Earth. real as we can get. That's what a scientific theory means. But the gravity itself, gravity is a natural law. All right. But as you're on Google, um, do me a favor and just Google, is gravity a law? I just did. And they're saying it's not. Uh, I don't see you Googling that. Newton's law No, we were watching you and you it's didn't. It's called a law of gravity, but it's not yeah, no, go Just Google. Just Google. The exact phrase, is gravity a law? Oh, you are? And it, oh, gra guys, it's law for gravity. What is the it's law of gravity? The universal, it's called the universal law of gravity, but it's not yeah. considered a law. It is okay. considered a law. That's why it's called the law of gravity. <laughs> the law of gravity. Explain it to me, then. You can't. Have FG a law equals G M. FG equals G M one M two over R squared. That is can. the law of gravity. You know so you understand better. You understand gravity better than ninety nine or one hundred percent of the physics or physics. No, ev every every sciences. person in the world that understands anything about gravity knows that the universal law of gravity is FG equals G M one M two over R squared. It's simple. That okay, simple well, formula can, within local distances and without relativistic speeds, calculate and predict exactly the path of a free-moving body. Law definition and meaning. Okay. I, I, we're not. We're not going to go through. Start like. What does law mean? What does this mean? What does that mean? Gravity is a natural law. Look, look at that. A binding custom or practice of a community. A rule of conduct yeah, okay. or uh, action prescribed. A, a law in science is not that. Yes, it is. D d we're not yes, doing the is. whole going for because anybody thing, that because goes against the right. Go, go and Google. Go and Google. Right, look, shut up. Shut. Up. Go and Google what is a scientific no, law. Shut up. I'm yeah, talking. well, shut up then when you're told to. Go and Google what is a scientific no, you, law. Why don't you Google it? Why don't you? Because Google you're it? the one that's got Great Google chance. open right now. Why don't you go and Google what is a scientific law? What is a scientific law? Okay. Yes. What? is a scientific law 
dipshit. Oh, what was that? I called you a Sourdough dipshit. What? Homo Habanus discovering his opposable thumb says what? A what? <laughs> you liked that, didn't you? Oh. I enjoy this. So, what is a scientific law then? I'm, I'm waiting for you to show us all. Okay. A scientific law is a statement that describes an observable occurrence in nature and appears to always be true. Exactly. It's a term you so Appears is not the word fact. This has nowhere I see the word fact. Yeah, in science it. doesn't ever claim to make things fact. That's not what science does. Science gives no, the but you're claiming science gives facts. the best answer that we have at the so moment. You have and that's what a law you is. You have to give you have to give the concession that there may be a dome. That there may, I no, I don't have to give the concession that there may be a dome because that's been disproven. No, it hasn't. It has, it has been has disproven. Not. It has been disproven then, because we've been to space and we didn't hit a dome. Really? Really? Yeah. I've already proved to you that the pictures you see are false. No, you have eighty-seven percent accuracy. So the, yeah, I okay, mean, the, you know that that's a B minus at best. Don't don't be proud of that. That's a B but plus. No, the pictures are not false. Okay, and also the, a scientific law postulates. I like that word postulates the yep. existence of a constant relationship between different factors and variables. Is a fundamental concept within the framework of the epistemology. Where's the other time you see epistemology used in um, jargon? That would be religion. So the epistemology equals. Uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did on you just say epistemo foundation. epistemology equals religion? No, yeah, an epistemology is technically used to really. It's fundamental. Belief. <laughs> an epistemology. You don't know what the word epistemology means. It's a. It's a letter. It's a note. It's like basically something. It's written. Okay. And it's held as sacred, essentially. Uh, the is, only is, other is, time it's held as sacred. Is this like the Cation? Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a Cation. It's okay. a what? I'm gonna name. I'm naming. Is it a Cation or an Anion? Like, Which one is it? Cation. It's an Anion. But the scientific law or natural law. Okay, a law is a science generalized rule to explain a body of observations in the form of verbal or mathematical statements. Yeah. It's law. Scientific laws, also known as natural laws imply a cause and effect between the observed elements and <laughs> must always apply under the same conditions. So what I can apply and I can assume under my own conditions, considering that your scientific law is not an actual binding legal law. No, it's a, it's a it's scientific just a, law. It's just a bunch of guys who agree on the same thing because anybody that has an op opposing opinion is No, science doesn't deal with opinions. Science doesn't, uh, so, uh, science doesn't deal with opinions. It deals with evidence. It's all your opinion. It's no, not it's evidence. No, it's, There's it's, no evidence. There is, there is evidence. About 90 percent. There is evidence. About ninety percent of the evidence you have, it's not considered evidence. It's considered I, I don't lie about the evidence that I have. You don't have any evidence. You're just. I, I have evidence of gravity. I have You're plenty of evidence parent, of gravity. Bro. You're I have parent. plenty of evidence you of gravity. Done any real research or anything? Oh, you literally yeah, I, I did my physics degree. Rules you know, I did my by. nuclear engineering you degree. I calculated the curvature of the Earth. Calculates a scientist. You're not a scientist. I've done more research I'm an engineer. today than you've probably done in your whole life. I'm an engineer. You're not. Oh, I'm not an engineer. You're not no, a you're not. freaking scientist or a researcher. I you never said I was a scientist. If you I know quite a lot about researching because I got two degrees. You do not know anything that you talk about. You I know everything that I talk about, actually. That's why I talk have, about it. No, you literally have. You literally have, this is no lie, you have a script. No, I don't. Your script is what you go by. No, I don't okay? have a script. That's what you do. You do I don't have a script. Week. You're just making you stuff up, You have a Ray. formula to it, okay? You have a formula. Oh, no, formula no, the formula is let morons like you come on and, and display their stupidity for the world. I'm, I'm, I'm literally telling you right here, look, this is what your firmament is made of. There is no firmament. Okay? Yes, there is. Right, show me evidence of the firmament then. Okay. Show me a pic show me a picture uh, of it. Which one do you want? Do you want the orc cloud? Do you want the um, The orc cloud the, is not a firmament. Really? really? Yes. It's a Google what is the orc cloud? I know what the orc cloud is, it's the comet cloud. Yeah, that's not but a firmament. I'm saying, no. I mean, you could give me a half truth and I still would, you know, not believe it because it's not uh, the whole <laughs> truth. Trade, there is no firmament. 
It's as yes, simple as that. No, there is not. It's ridiculous to think that gravity is what holds the air in. Regardless no, of the no container. It's, it's verified, but it's verified okay, by experimentation. Okay, okay, if gravity's real, gravity's real, how come when the comet flies through this, when a comet is flying through the vacuum of space, okay? Yeah. When a comet flies through the vacuum of space, explain to me why it leaves its tail. Instead uh, of because bun a bunch of it gets blown off by solar winds. Solar winds. Yeah. Uh, why doesn't it affect the moon and Mars and any other place? What do you mean? Why doesn't it affect the moon? Why doesn't and Mars? it? Why doesn't it dry up the water on Mars? Why doesn't it cause the water on Mars? Why doesn't it dry up the water on Mars? It did about three and a half billion years ago. That's why, why there's no water on Mars anymore. Uh, the moon. Why does it? Why doesn't it dry up the water on the moon? Um. There. Well, the water on the moon also went away. There may be pockets underground. No, there's not. No, they said they were, there was literal frozen water on the moon. Uh, there may be pockets of individual bits of water, but the most of it is gone. Uh, um, no. But a, a no, comet, I mean, a comet is made of, is, a comet is made moon? of like ice and debris, which can easily get blown off by solar winds. And in fact, comets tend to have two tails. One that goes, how come, um, a how come one that goes behind, wait, 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 I'm talking, I'm moon. talking, I'm how talking, the... I'm talking. One tail that goes behind it because of the debris getting pushed off, and one tail which will go directly away from the direction of the sun, showing that it's solar winds that are blowing the debris off of the comets. But how come the solar winds don't blow the other debris away? How what come only debris? one goes? Yeah, you said there's two tails. Yeah, how, one, how one not, where it leaves bits solar, behind in its so path. So is the solar wind stronger than gravity or what? The gravity of the comet isn't going to be very much. It's not going to be very much, but no. actually, you know, there are comets that are large, as large, that have comas that are literally as large as the moon, yet do not form gravity, form any gravity. Yeah, because that's not solid on. mass, that's the tail of it. But none of it conglomerates together whatsoever. Because it doesn't have individual mass or enough time. Because you it's don't moving. know what a comet is, and you have I no know idea exactly what a comet, comet is, is but you didn't even know they had two tails. I knew they had two tails. I was no, you student. didn't. I know everything about freaking comets. Trust. No, me. you don't. If I didn't, I wouldn't be asking you this question. Okay. Well, you how do how do question. comets how do comets orbit the sun? You want me to tell you what they say about the reason it has two tails? Because one of the tails is magnetic, and it says it pulls parts. No, of nobody the says that. Comet. Nobody yes, says that. Do. Evidence, yes, please. Do. Who says that comets are magnetic, and that's why they have two tails? Just making stuff up, Trey. It's fantastic. Let's get you back on camera so I can see your dumb face. <gasps> hmm. Look at that. What's this? What's that? Here, go back. What's to the screen, say? Share. Oh, let me bring that back up for people. Which one is it? All right, is that what you're saying then? By the sun's magnetic field, not the comet's magnetic field. The I comets are not magnetic. Sun. No, you That's didn't. You I said, said you said comets are magnetic. No, I said the mag. No, I said the magnet. Magnetic. You literally just of said comets are magnetic. That's why they have their tails um, like that. Um, why? Uh, if they're not magnetic, how can they be shaped by the sun's magnetic field, genius? Because other things can be because affected why? by because magnetism that mag aren't magnetic Do they themselves. They have ferrous metals inside of them that are magnetic. Yes. Does that other things magnetic? that can yes. be affected by magnetism are not magnetic themselves necessarily. Um, not true if you take into account the electromagnetism of the actual object. You don't know what that means. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> well, it's nonsense. No, it doesn't. Everything it, it, has electromagnetivity. <laughs> magnetism. Everything. Yeah, that oh, Electromagnetivity. Right. Okay, so anyway, like, um, how is any of this proving that there's a firmament? Let's get back because to that. Because you don't know anything about comets. I know so a lot about comets. Know I know that they're not, not the com firmament. How can, how can you know anything about there not being 
firmament if you don't know anything about comets? Because the comets are not firmaments, and I know plenty about comets, thank you. Okay, well, you didn't know that they were magnetic. Comets aren't magnetic, but they can be so shaped saying, by the sun's magnetic field. Okay, can comets have magnetic metals inside of them? Let's just see what... Possibly, but comets true. themselves aren't possibly, just naturally magnetic. Possibly. Well, let me tell you something. Guess what? Water is electromagnetic. Ice is electromagnetic. Okay, anyway, Everything. let's get back to evidence for the firmament, please. Okay, evidence for the firmament. Yeah, that would be lovely. Like I said, it came from, uh, if we could screen share again. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to show people your dumb face, but carry on. Oh, well, you know, you can't be the only dumb guy on camera, can you? Great comeback, Trey. Bet your mum's proud. Uh, How's your cat ions actually, these, day, these days? My cations, they spawn. You do know that that was a fucking dumb thing to say, right? That they're called cations. Um... Do you do know that if I was deaf and couldn't pronounce the word, you probably wouldn't make fun of me? Uh, a deaf person wouldn't just claim that they knew what it was. You'd I never mean, heard mean, of cations before, and you looked I mean, at I'm the sure word that you'd I never seen care. before and thought it said cations. Hey, because you, look, sir, are a it, fucking hell, idiot. It's like cations. They should have put a damn apostrophe in there. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, evidence of the firmament. Come on, I'm waiting. Okay, ringwoodite. Ringwoodite. This material? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just having a bit of well, material is not evidence there is a firmament. Please I'm show me not, evidence there more. is an I'm actual going to firmament. Talk about the lattice, the lattice type structure. And yeah, okay. Actual... Let, let, let me be clear, Trey. Having one piece of material on the ground does not confirm that there is a firmament it's in not the just sky. From the ground, it also Please comes give from me the sky. evidence that there is a firmament in the sky. Yes, I can give you evidence of firmament in the sky. Go on then. Okay. I don't want to hear in about Genesis. the lattice. I don't want to hear about lattice structure or materials that we found on Earth. I want to hear about evidence of there being a physical structure in the sky. Genesis tells us there's a physical structure in the sky. <laughs> uh, I don't really care about the Bible. Well, I mean, you said proof, evidence. Yeah, the, the Bible isn't evidence of Just anything. Just because you don't care about it doesn't mean it's Yeah, I, I, so. I can show you where the Bible says the Earth's a globe. So, no, you can't. Not yeah, I can. Bible. Oh, why is... Where? Wait, I don't... Whose Bible? Why is your Bible the right Bible? Um, because I know that man didn't write this Bible. Uh, excuse me? Man wrote every single Bible. No, the Holy yes. Spirit wrote the Bible. And no, 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 no. The Bible was written by man. The Bible was written by sheep herders <laughs> 4,000 years ago. They weren't all sheep herders. Some of them were warriors. Some of them were actually yeah, they, they kings. Were sheep herders. They, were... The Bible was written by sheep herders, right? No, they were kings. And the Bible people. was written by humans, not by anybody else. Yeah, well, I guess you consider your science books to be written by gods? No, I consider the science books to be written by humans because I'm not a fucking moron. Um, clearly, if you don't know that um, comets can be magnetic... And actually, comets themselves okay, so are not magnetic. Okay, is there a difference right. between magnetism and gravity? Yes, a very big one. Okay, so a comet cannot be both magnetic and gravitational. Yes, it can. All mass is okay. gravitational. I would say, okay, so you're consenting to the fact that a comet is magnetic. No, I'm saying that... All mass is gravitational. I don't know where you got that from. Really? Yes, all mass is gravitational. And in a gravitational field, all mass creates its own gravity. All mass creates its own gravity, okay. That's yes. Cool. But can we talk about the fact that the firmament is made Doesn't exist. of ringwoodite? Uh, no, I want is evidence that... that the firmament exists, please. Not just talking about a, a material that's on Earth. Okay. All right, let's let me do this. Um, do, 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 do. Let me get a quick video up. Okay, I have a bunch of videos right here we can watch, and they're. Um... Uh, here, this right here is seven rockets that have hit the firmament. 
<laughs> no rocket has ever hit the firmament. Okay, well, I've got about 15 hours worth of video ready to show you if you want to see it. Uh, you can you can try, um, but I want to quickly show you a video myself. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Right, okay, all right. Um, I've lost my video. Let's do yours. Um, then let's have a look at those first. I'll find the one that I want. The post of this original video was actually removed. Why would they remove this video if it's just some rockets hitting a dome? I don't know. Probably... Did something that was against the rules. Right, hold on. Let me get you back up on screen. I found my video, so I can show you that in a bit. But let's have a look at yours, because this is always going to be funny. I uh, come out. Right, pause it a sec. I want to make a prediction. Okay. I predict that one of the videos you're going to show me is going to be of what we call a yo-yo D spin. Um. Okay. So let's have a look. Go spin. Yeah. Okay. Is, does that take into account the Coriolis effect or no? It's irrelevant to the Coriolis effect. No. Everything is. I don't. You don't know what the Coriolis effect is. We'll get to that. Anyway, let's it's see these videos it's of it's rockets hitting the dome. I, I didn't see anything hit a dome in the first one there. I, Make it full screen so we can see it better. Yeah, I, again, I didn't see a rocket hit a dome or anything. Yeah, that's just the, that's just the exhaust from um, stage two ignition. Yep, here we go. This is the yo-yo D-spin. Yo-yo D-spin. That's yeah. ridiculous. Really, I can show you the creator of this rocket talking about it. Why is it ridiculous? Because your personal incredulity says it is. No, that's, that's just... I'm just saying, like... Do I, okay, do you know what a yo-yo D-spin is? Do you know what a yo-yo D-spin is? I know it's probably lie algebra. No, it's not. Fuck me. Waiting to see this rocket hit uh, hit a dome. No dome so far. Why is it like one frame per second? Oh, it even says on the screen, yo yo D spin. So they're even telling you what's happening, and you're trying to say it's something else. Fuck a me, yo -yo Trey. Spin. Fuck me. A yo-yo D spin. Okay, let's see what a yo-yo D spin is really quick, because sure. that is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard in my Let, life. I'll show you. Uh, yo -yo. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yo-yo D spin. Yo, yo D spin. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let me bring this up so I can show you um, and everyone can see you because you're dumb. All right, display one. All right, here we go. Trey, look at the screen. This is, I see what it is. It's this a, is a demonstration. It's a of, I'm talking. Of I am talking. I am talking. This is what a yo-yo D-spin is. This is the physical mechanism behind it, what is inside the rocket. As the rocket is rotating... All that happens is a counterweight is released. As you see here, that counterweight is released and that stops the rotational momentum. That is a yo-yo D-spin and that's what happens inside a rocket that is spinning like that. Um, if we see here, 
It even says on that video you were just showing, Space Loft 7 launch and despin video. So let's watch it in real time, not in the one frame per second that you were showing us. You see how it's got its rotational velocity at the moment, but um, it releases its counterweight and that spin stops. Here we go. There we go, that's the yo-yo despin. If that had hit a physical dome, it would have exploded, not just stopped its vertical, it's, there are um, it's videos rotational. Of it hitting the dome, literally. There are videos of SpaceX rockets hitting the dome. No, there isn't. Yes, there are. No, there isn't. Um, yeah, there are. No, there isn't. Just saying it is doesn't make it true. Okay. I mean, let me see really quick. What was the name <laughs> of that video? Trey, you got worse at debating. Uh, no. Guys, there, there is a poll in the, in the above the chat um, if you want to check it out. The poll is, will the Flat Earther beat me in debate? Yes, no, or shut up, Craig? Um, I reckon I know what's going to be chosen. <laughs> right, come on, let's see these uh, videos of SpaceX rockets hitting the dome. I'm sure Musk would have tweeted about that. What the fuck happened to my rocket? Sell Bitcoin. <laughs> Guys, this is um, Flat Earth Research in real time. He's looking for YouTube videos that back up his oh, claim. He's looking for YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> Stop uh, making me laugh. Okay. You're making everyone laugh, dude. This is fucking brilliant. Uh, I hope so. I hope they're enjoying this. Yeah, they're enjoying you displaying your stupidity for everybody to see. <laughs> More stalker. Yo mama is a yo-yo D-spin. <laughs> oh, no, for perspective, he's not a po. He's genuinely not a po. He is this fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I wish he was a po, oh. because knowing that I'm the same species as someone with an IQ this low makes me sad. Oh, my IQ is 196, dude. I do not think your IQ is 196. That would make you the smartest person on the planet. I have a, I'm in actually the first, I'm in, I'm actually um, in the top 2%, believe it or not. Yeah, of course you are. Of course you are. Uh, I mean, I'm anyway, saying. you do know that IQ is pseudoscience, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you do you not have a registered have... IQ of 196 because that would literally make you the smartest person that has ever lived. I... Uh, no, actually, there's a few people that have actually had. Uh, there's a guy that's alive today that has one of 250, and um, he's he's like up there. Anyway, where's this uh, evidence of yours? One second. Whenever you're ready, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sure you you would have all this evidence to hand if it was uh, there, right? Let's see. Uh, 196, top 2%, Mensa IQ only goes to 160, top okay, 2%, Okay, here you go. Um, <laughs> I have uh, proof of actually there's no the blue ball marble is a fraud no 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 oh, don't be changing the subject i'm waiting for evidence okay. of a dome okay what's hitting okay oh i can't i can't find the evidence so i'm gonna go on to something else nah not fucking happening mate no no no, no. <gasps> oh my god yeah, Rick Murray says might have a negative 196 IQ. <laughs> uh, you know, Powell's got an IQ of 19,000. Powell doesn't like me. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, Sterian Celeste says it has a 6 in there, but it's not 196. It's just 6. 
Uh, Venom Slamoski Radu Gentico says, let him get out any evidence, please. It's more laughing stock. Well, I'm waiting for the evidence of, of a SpaceX rocket hitting the dome that he claimed. That's what I want to see right now. I am trying to find it. Oh, of course you are, because it doesn't exist. And do you know why? Because there's no dome. There's no and dome. no rockets yeah, have ever hit a dome. Trey, I really, really hope that you don't ever get a job at McDonald's because I don't want you making my food. You know, I really want you to show me a rocket that actually goes up through the dome. Because there is no dome, so it wouldn't do that. Yeah, it doesn't even go all the way up. It just goes back and hits the ground. Here we go. Praise Jesus. So you've got a video of a SpaceX rocket hitting a dome, have you? Yeah, I do. Let, let, let's see that then. Okay. This is going to be funny, guys. As soon as it will load. 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 Yeah, uh, yeah, JM Cloud, you're right. He's going to show a video of rocket staging. Probably firing its second stage boosters after letting go of its first stage boosters, which has a massive bubble come out because, you know, it's in a practical vacuum where there's no pressure keeping the exhaust contained. But, you know, uh, I'd like to see his evidence because we're all going to have a good laugh at it. Then how does your, if it's in a vacuum... How does your uh, rocket actually ignite? Because there is an internal combustion with, you know, a combustion chamber. Oxidized, uh, oxidizer and fuel mixes, goes boom. It's not hard. How, why is this taking you so long to get this evidence, Trey? We're all waiting on tender hooks. All 700 of us. Do 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 Oh you got it You got SpaceX rocket hitting the dome let's let's see share your screen let's go Can't wait I'm so excited Um why am I not getting uh Go All right, okay. Let's see this SpaceX rocket hitting a dome. I want to bring it up big so I can see. Impacts the dome here and begins scraping along it, spraying water as it go. Okay. <laughs> now it skips off the dome again. <laughs> Here it impacts the dome again and plows along it. <laughs> this rocket is impacting the dome, guys, but but it's not like blowing well, up or anything. I suppose you're going to say it's staging. Yes, that's exactly what it's, it's, it's staging. Okay. <laughs> how can how can it be staging if there is something coming from the front of the rocket? What's coming from the front? It doesn't of the have rocket? boosters in the front of itself. Where's where's something coming from the front of the rocket? Look at it. Look, how is it coming yeah, from that's the coming, front? That's the, the exhaust rocket. of the rocket. And there's a second stage boosting off. <laughs> What's the point of the second stage? <laughs> to make it go further. But I mean, why is the second... What is? The, wh I mean, what the you're rocket? seeing here is probably something, a rocket dropping off a payload, um, maybe with multiple things to drop off. And that payload really? igniting its stage. That, that's all this is. This is what we expect to see. There's, where's the dome? Where's the explosion from it hitting a dome? You can't, you, you literally, it's blue. Like, come on, man. It's blue. Yeah, this guy tends to be blue. That's called Rayleigh scattering. You know why it's blue? It's yeah, because, blue because of Rayleigh it's scattering. Made of I... No, How it's... Was it, what was it? Did it used to be it's green? It's because of Rayleigh scattering. It's because blue is the um, how, wavelength. How? Nobody saw it's because blue, I'm talking. I'm talking... Blue is the wavelength of light that isn't absorbed by our radiation, which is what, uh, by our atmosphere, which is why the sky appears blue to us. How come? But I just showed you where, where uh, blue didn't exist until recently. 
So it could the, the color like, blue still existed. People might not have been able to see the color blue, but they, the color blue still existed. They, they would have seen it if it existed. The thing is, it did not. Oh my god. You think the article means that the color blue didn't exist? No, you fucking dipshit. It means that people did not have the visual acuity to see the wavelength of blue properly yeah. until we continue to okay. evolve more. Probably. Look, Craig, I didn't say the word I've given properly. you more than enough information. You've given me nothing! Uh, hey, do you know that um, you don't actually see everything in color? Only the, like, only the middle, like, 5% of your vision is actually in color. The rest is, like, filled in by your brain. Does that mean that the world's... The, the, the colors don't exist outside my vision. But for the entire civilization or the entire, like, race of humanity not to see the color blue? Come on, man. Oh, it's oh, green. Why do you think trees are green? And they're actually turning uh, blue. Because of chloroform. Is that funny? Chloroform yeah, shows they're the... Turning now, I, 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 my my, my apologies right now. My apologies. The, the um, I wasn't actually showing your screen of the, the staging. Can you go back and let people see it from the beginning? My bad, guys. I didn't realize it had frozen. I put the wrong one up. So here we go. Uh, like this, it, this is what he was showing us of, the, uh, of a rocket apparently impacting the sky, uh, the, the dome. And then I'm trying to find the one where it explodes. Oh no, I want to go back to that one. Go back to that one so everyone can see it. The one where it's skipping across the dome, please. My bad guys, apologies. Like right, here we go. This is apparently it's skipping across the dome. I could see how this would be staging. I totally understand this. I'm not saying that this is it hitting the dome. Well, that's what you were presenting it as it evidence actually, of. It actually explodes. Yes, yeah, sometimes rockets explode. This right here. Right here. Look at that. Look. It explodes and you see a ripple of water. Oh, that's not an explosion, you fucking dipshit. That is staging. That is the... No, it's not. What? Yes, it... Jesus Christ. You don't even know why the sky is blue. This is fucking hilarious. Um, because it's a ring, would I? It used no, to be green. No, because that's the wavelength of light. That that is that gets through our atmosphere. If it was, if it was the wavelength of light, guess what? The plants would be blue, but they're not. They're green. No, because it they're used green be because green. of chloroform. And no, there we go. There's the state. They're green because of chlorophyll. But chloroform. The reason is because chlorophyll absorbs I know chlorophyll, over sorry. time <laughs> the green from the sky. That's why plants are turning blue. Plants are not turning blue. Yes, they are. So uh, slowly you know, go, over go, time anyway, getting blue. Chlor it's chlorophyll. Yeah. So. Um, let's go back again and watch that bit of the ripple across the sky for everyone to see your stupidity. No, let's watch this. This is the one I wanted to show you. Oh, then why were you showing me the other one? There it goes. Watch. And where's the dome? Boom. You'll see the ripple. Yeah, no, I didn't see any ripple or any dome. Watch. Uh, yeah, that's not a impacting the dome that that's for fuck's sake <laughs> oh my god causing it to plow against the dome wow yeah so where's the dome it's the color of the sky where is it though i, I mean You'll see it when you see the rip. This is not what this is not what happens when something that is going several thousand miles an hour smashes into something. Well, this is I mean, not what you, you would see. Account the, um... If the dome is made of this solid material that you are talking about, it would explode, not do that. 
It's made of a material that produces water through piezoelectricity. It does not produce water, fuck's sake. Right, okay, so what you're saying is then you have no evidence of a SpaceX rocket hitting the dome like you claimed. Yeah, right here. Yeah, no, I do not see anything hitting a dome. <laughs> Globehead Gardener says, sorry, did he say plants are turning blue? I'm staring at 20 cannabis plants right now, and they're definitely green. Um, I mean, I they're green, yes, some? but I mean, like, you can find studies where they're slowly turning blue. And they blame it on uh, global warming, which is not true. Global warming is a freak. Global warming is definitely a thing. That, that's not no, be it's stupid. Not. It 100% is. It 100% is not. It 100% is. Um, your stupidity doesn't change that. Oh, uh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess that the fact that they say we're running out of water is a problem, too, considering we have... Who said we're running out of water? Literally, if 1% of the water... Who said we're running out of water? Who said we're running out of water? Oh, dude. Seriously? Yeah, who said that? They say it all the time. Who? It's like, you know, by the year, like, 20, 30, we're going to have, like, severe droughts of water. You know, like, no... Who, who says Here, that? I'll stop screen... I'm trying to stop screen sharing. Yeah, you have stopped. That's why you can't do it, because you've already done it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, zero evidence of a dome, then. Got it. Brilliant. I think that's pretty good evidence of a dome. No, actually. it's not. It's ro rockets doing what rockets do. Rockets don't just explode and stop in midair when they hit uh, something. Yo-yo D-spins do make the rotational velocity stop. But and rockets rocket also, it, in the rockets also it explode sometimes. Rockets explode sometimes. When they hit domes, yeah. Uh, so uh, the rockets only explode when they hit a dome. But that wasn't an explosion. If, we, if there was an explosion, there would have been fire. There would have been sh you know, smears all over the dome. There was you, water literally there, putting out the fire. No, the because water was putting the, out the fire. Uh, a solid material that you're talking about does not make water. Um, yes, it does. No, uh, it, you it want doesn't. me to show you where ringwoodite creates water? Because it does. Let's go. En enough wa enough water to put out the fire of an exploding rocket. Okay, let me tell you something. If 1% of the ringwoodite that is beneath the Earth's surface contained water, it would contain more water than all the oceans in the world. Okay, then. Sure. Okay, you want me to show you? No, I just want some evidence of, of this dome that you're talking about. I'm giving you evidence. You don't want to buy you it. You haven't you showed me it. any evidence of a dome. You showed me rockets doing what rockets do. I'm telling you also. You can that tell me what you want. Of, it doesn't change the I fact just that there you. is, okay, that there physically is no dome. Yes, there is. No, there is not. Yeah, you're just literally suffering from cognitive dissonance. Uh, no, I'm uh, literally uh, not. Uh, let me show you how I know there is no dome. So this is Mr. Sensible's Mage 2 project, um, which went from the ground uh, on the uh, payload that they built with three cameras on. Here's the payload with the cameras looking forward at the reference string. Um, and it went up to about 30, well, here we go, 38 kilometers there. No dome. It can and go if, if, and, if, kilometers? and if there if there's a dome that is apparently making the sky blue, why does the sky stop being blue the further you go up? That ringwoodite looks that color. What it looks it looks light blue and dark blue at the same time. Yeah. Really, it looks both light blue and dark blue and then black at the same time. Does it? Yeah. It's a really. It's magic, yeah. is it? It's magic, oh, multicolor no. changing material that creates water out of thin air. Blue is one color, and shades are not different colors. Just who is one uh, color? Yeah, but it literally shade. goes to black, dude. I can show you ring what I is black too. Where's the dome? That like it, this is above some of the blue. So is this he above can't go the any dome? Higher? What's he What's he up against? Is it the air pressure coming from the dome? It's, it's the It's different? the maximum um, buoyant buoyant force that you can be created on the weather balloon because the atmosphere go, gets so thin. 
or it gets so thin. And then the, and then the atmosphere gets so thin that the pressure inside the balloon expands so much that the balloon pops. Okay. Or it just hits the dome. Uh, no, the balloon pops, and that happens in this video. Were, well, were you there when it popped? Were you on the balloon? The, uh, no, but we've got video of it. It looks kind of flat, honestly. Uh, it's definitely not flat. Uh, yeah, let's, it's... Let me go to the bit where you can see the curve quite clearly. Yeah, Definitely not flat, matching the predicted curve right there. Uh... There we go. There's you know overlaid. it's round. I mean, the edge of it's round. You know that, right? The edge of what is round? The Earth. It's yeah, round. this is this is a curve of the horizon of the yeah, entire but Earth I mean, that uh, you see. I mean, nobody said flat Earth wasn't circular. Well, this I mean, is a circle. A this circle. is a curve. God... But the, the horizon gets more curved the further you go up. Yeah. But, and plus, you know, that's um, not the edge that's because, because you... uh, like, what, the land that's beyond that would be uh, the direction it's looking, probably America. And America isn't the edge of the world. Actually, in the Bible, it is described as the... America is not so described I... in the Bible, Bible at all. And the edge of the world, if you were talking about the inside or the outside, the south border is the... Actually, Antarctica is the, the south... Like yeah, the Bible doesn't say that at all. Stop talking nonsense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. No, it really... It's, it's, Trey, you've, not, you've never read the Bible, I don't think. The South literally is like literally the... Yeah, they literally the talk about the four corners of the earth that they can see from their little kingdom. Yes. Yes, but we know that it's further in reality than the four corners they could see. This is the Would curve here, but more importantly, this, more importantly, we are talking about the fact that there is no dome. There is no dome when you but are here. You're, you did where, not prove where is the dome, video. Trey? Point it's to where me. the balloon popped. Right, so you're saying the dome made the balloon pop? Yes. Why would a dome make a balloon that is slowly rising up suddenly pop? Maybe it's just so jagged and sharp. Who knows? But when the camera that is looking straight up at, at the balloon sees complete blackness. It's amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder if we can get the point where the balloon actually pops so you can see it. Uh, here we go. Right. Here we go. Here's the balloon popping. Looking up at complete blackness. Nothing blue there at all. If you watch the there we go. Beautiful. There's the balloon popping. No dome in sight. N not nothing at all. No dome. I actually think I know a video that actually uses that same video, slows it down, and actually finds some stuff too. No, no one uses this same video. This is Mr. Sensible's video. Uh, maybe I don't know. I'll have to check. But let's see. Let's see. Mr. Sensible made this himself when he sent the thing up to space. And there's no dome there, Trey. Look, look, there we go. There's no dome. The balloon is not hitting anything. It is exploding because the pressure inside has got too great for the structural integrity of the balloon's walls, plus it getting really cold and frigid up there. Where is the dome, Trey? Point to me in this picture, looking straight up where the dome is, please. Okay. Um, let me, uh, can I full screen your video? Okay, if you look and you look quite actually you can look in that video and you can actually see the grid lines you can see the what the grid lines the grid what grid lines oh you don't know about the grid lines what grid lines are you talking about there's no grid lines no. yeah in the southern hemisphere wait um, you what what grid lines there is no grid lines in this still okay, frame but trey the question to you was where is the dome? It is looking straight up. Where is the dome? The dome is above the, where the camera's looking at. It's clearly right. It's so the dome's black, not blue. Then it's it's there's no light up there. Of course, it would look black. It's above. It's above the sun. It's not above the sun. It is above the sun. The camera the looks at the sun it. off in the distance above it many times. I've talked. No, well the sun. It does not. Where in the video does it? So are you are you saying to me the sun 
is less than 35,000 meters above us. The sun is about 30 miles above us, I believe. The dome is actually 30 miles as well. No, it's so not. That's Oh, so you're saying that it's, you know, the exact location of it? Uh, if, the, if the sun was 30 miles up, we'd be able to exactly triangulate its position and it would change in angular size. And you know what? I modeled the sun. It does. It doesn't. I can show you that. I modeled the sun oh. on, on a flat earth. Um, and this is based on known distances, the map that's created. And I've got four cameras here. I've got one looking directly at the sun. Um, the one on the top left is behind the camera. The one on the bottom left is looking directly above and the one on the bottom right is looking at its side on. And as we can see, as we follow the sun on its path throughout the day, at no point does the sun go out of sight. So if the sun was only about 30 miles up, it would never, ever be nighttime. Um, that's not true considering the sun is only 36 miles in diameter. It's just that like a floating light. It's it's much smaller than you. We'd be able to do. triangulate its exact position, which we do we, not. We can. We can. And we cannot. I'll show you the. With we the cannot actual, triangulate its exact you, position by looking at, at where it is mass, uh, and using like rays and stuff. Mass, we can't do that. Coronal mass ejections. Mass ejection measurements. Yeah, but they will tell us the sun is 93 million miles away. It will not allow no, us to don't. triangulate the position of the sun being 30 miles away. It's not, it's uh, it's all times. It literally, it just moves around. It's like a chronal mass ejections, uh, measurements of a uh, ferro um, hydromagnetic. Yeah, okay, anyway, so uh, that, like, as I've shown you, there is no dome, all right? So we can move on from that. And like I, uh, like I said, if there was a dome and gravity wasn't real, Right. Let's go back to um, the the video from Mr. Sensible. If there if there was a dome and gravity wasn't real, the air pressure would be equal the entire time. Luckily, Mr. Sensible had a um, sen uh, pressure measurement, uh, and as you can see, we are currently at zero point one four five percent of normal atmospheric pressure, which is fourteen point seven psi. Um, but when we're all the way down here. We're just above the ground. We're at 0.974% of atmospheric pressure. And the higher it goes, the lower that drops. That in itself, look, 0.005% of atmospheric pressure. That in itself disproves the notion of a dome and gravity not being real. You are debunked. Okay, well, explain to me why coronal mass ejections are a major form of activity in the sun. A CME takes about 10 or 15 Gs, 16 Gs of plasma from the low corona into the solar wind to disturb the near-Earth space. Uh-huh. Okay, define the near-Earth space. But what are you fucking talking about? Coronal mass ejections happen on the sun that's yeah, 93 but, million miles away. So how, do you, how are you able to literally um, map these within the first few seconds of them happening we're not it takes about eight minutes for the light to reach us well that's not what i'm reading here in this paper please show me in that paper where it says we can instantly see when a coronal mass ejection happens well i could if i was actually a part of this website because it doesn't I'm say not. that oh well i'll find one give me a second no you won't because it doesn't say that light from the sun takes about eight minutes to reach us so how do we know that? How do we know that hydrogen and helium and neon are all part of coronal mass ejections? If we've never been because we can sp use spectroscopy to measure them. Okay, um, but these are called in situ measurements. And okay, do you know what the do you know what the term in situ means? Do you? Yes, I do. Explain it then. It means the actual point of origin. Um, yeah, so you can measure something at its point of origin from a far point away. No, you can't. Yeah, you Not can. Not in situ. How does in situ mean far away? Then in situ is a lie. So in space sciences, in situ refers to the measurements of the particle and field environment that the satellite is embedded in. 
such as the detection of energetic particles in solar wind or magnetic field measurements from a magna, uh, magnetometer. It does not say anywhere that it is means it's from the origin. Uh, in situ definition, situated in the original natural or existing place or position, the archaeologists were able to date the base because it was found in situ. Yeah, and that's nothing to do with coronal mass ejections. In that space, listen, listen, in space sciences, in situ refers to measurements of the particle and field environment that the satellite is embedded in. Simple as that. Um, but there's no satellite embedded in the sun. We actually have... Um, uh, about three probes very close to the sun. The Parker Solar Probe is actually at the moment on one of its closest approaches to the sun within about 2 million kilometers of the star's corona. So we have actually satellites all the way out there. So you're telling me that the satellite is as far away from the sun as there is landmass in, in um, Antarctica. Cool. Makes sense. Wait. Two million miles is nothing about Antarctica. Oh, what the fuck? No, two million, two, not miles, kilometers. Two million kilometers. That, that's still like 1.3 million miles. No. There's not, there's not that much land in Antarctica. No, there's actually 56 million miles. No, there's not. Or, yes, there is. No, there's not. The Van der Globe race, uh, yacht race every four years disagrees with you. Uh, that's because they actually only go... They say they're going four miles an hour when they're actually going 40 miles an hour. No, they're really not. They map their speed and they have GPS on the No, they don't. Track. I know. I already know about the whole lie, man. Come no, you, anyone can fucking nobody, enter this okay, on their nobody, own. Everybody Any, knows this. Uh, Trey, Scooter, shut up. Anybody can enter this Scooter race. Scooter does not go Anybody miles can an enter hour. these races and they only travel 14,000 to 16,000 nautical miles, not the 43,000 miles that would be required if the Earth was flat. Uh, yeah, they do. They no, they don't. Take, they are measured the at traveling. For, they are. They I've are measured the at calculations. Shut up. You can't no, you have. You don't know how to do maths. So you haven't seen any fucking Jaren's calculations. And see the debunking on that. This that's a lie. Oh, Jaronism lies about everything. So we don't need to listen to no, Jaronism. He doesn't. He he also. Oh, if, so we're to trust everything that Jaronism says, okay. are we? Hey, I trust him a lot more than I trust you. <laughs> we're, tr to, we're to trust everything that Jaronism says, are we? If you're seeing no, through actually, no. Hole, don't trust anything through anybody the next says. Hole. Don't trust any. You and know what? Don't trust light, anything I say. Go do your own research. Uh, watch the video. Shush. If you I'll have to restart that because you were babbling. Hole through the next hole and seeing the light at the backboard or at 17 feet off the this, water. The this is flat. an old video. Shh. If he's holding it up at 23 feet high and we're seeing the light, well, that's because the Earth's curved. So I, I should only be able to see it when it's at 17 feet. Okay, go ahead and drive down there, Enrique. Video. You're going to hold the light there. Enrique, how high is your light? 17 feet. I mean, I, you know, it's his... Um, there's, we don't see you, Enrique. Lift up your, lift up your light up, way above your head. Interesting. So there's Jaronism measuring the curve of the Earth. Interesting. That's a stupid. That's a stupid. That is a really stupid experiment, by the way. Well, you should tell Jaronism um, that. Okay. Um, you said that Antarctica is not more than two. <laughs> I said it's not fifty-six million kilometers in in size. It's about fourteen point two million square kilometers, five point five million square miles. And the Parker Soda Probe, as, as Rumpus points out, I suppose technically is in situ because it's where the place of it happens. Uh, and yeah. also, we still don't... Inside the fall, still inside the firmament, uh, right by the sun. No, not inside the firmament, in, at the sun, 93 million miles away. Um, and yeah. we actually, in, um, when you do spectroscopy, that is not in situ measurements or, or anything. It's, it, it's measuring the light and uh, you know, so radiation as it reaches the, us. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. No dome, Earth is curved. God, I hate that, right? Yeah. No, I don't hate it. I know it's. I know that it has a dome, and I know it's... Well, there's no dome, oh, because okay. I just... Again, like, do we, I guess we go back to this, and you can tell me once again where the dome is, because uh, I'd really like I you to you, specifically point it. it out. The dome is the extent of your vision capability... When you were looking at it, uh, it was also dark because the sun was below the it. Dome. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just it? say the dome is the extent of your visual capability? Yeah. So the actual, you can't see beyond the dome. 
Uh, are you talking about Jaren's atmospheric doom nonsense? You cannot see beyond the dome. There is no dome. There is definitely a dome. There's really not. I mean, we can see billion, you know, billions and billions of, of miles away. We can see billions yeah, of light years away. Yeah, you see things that are... You see stars that revolve around us because they are seated in the dome. Yeah, like, we can measure like the distance of them using parallax. It's, it's quite easy. Um, so, again, specifically in this image that I have taken at 21 minutes and 6 seconds into Mr. Sensible's Mage 2 What Shape is the Earth video, please point out to me this camera that is looking directly up into space where the dome is. You can clearly see if you look in it, you can actually see the outline of it. You can see... You can see the lines, and I'm not talking about the actual lines in the... Are, are you uh, looking at the same thing as me? What yeah, lines? I can, see, I can what clearly outline? see... I can see the grid lines. What grid lines? Can, you can't see the grid lines. There's literally. no grid lines. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, seriously, how do you not know about the grid, grid lines? There isn't any grid lines. Seriously, to to specifically tell me where the grid lines are in this image. Uh, you're just making shit up, Trey, because you're a fucking I'm not moron. Making shit up. <laughs> you are. You're telling I'm me there's not. grid lines and an outline in this when there's none. You are uh, you're either high as a fucking kite on something other no. than cannabis, or you're just straight up lying. I'm not lying to you. I literally have been looking for this. I cannot find it right now. But I'm telling you, if you go to the Southern Hemisphere and you go to Australia, if you've ever been, uh, been to Australia, I'm not going to Australia. Like they got fucking spiders with enough venom to take out a herd of elephants. Fuck I've heard about shit. those. But I'm saying there are people that literally live out in the desert and they do they do uh, astronomy. They, I guess, look at the stars and stuff like that. And a lot of flat earthers believe or have heard stories or seen videos of people actually getting really strange pictures of lines in the sky and it represents like you know it's easy cool to story. See it, Trey, cool story bro i'm just saying <gasps> right anyway so um no evidence of the dome what else you got I have evidence. It's just you're, you. I have as no, much no. I, I've, as you. I've asked you several times for evidence. You've not shown any evidence. So let's move away from the dome discussion now because it's quite clear there is no dome. Uh, so what other evidence <laughs> have you got that the Earth is flat and non-rotating? The fact that the dome is made of ringwoodite. There, no, there's no dome. We've discovered that. So no, next, yeah, no one's discovered it. I'm sure there's people looking into. Oh, we've this just right we now. just showed you a video of there being no dome. So we, we're done with that now. That, that what caused the? Did it stop? Did it stop? Did it go beyond a dome? No. No, there is no dome. You can see there's just blackness. Yeah, because what? Because it actually popped before it got beyond the dome. Because it no, because there. the balloon, as you can watch through the video, the balloon expands and expands and expands. And what happens when a balloon gets so big that it can't contain the pressure inside anymore? What happens, Trey? Does the balloon explode? Yeah. Yeah, it would also just explode like there. If it got to a dome, it's like really cold. Wait, so when I blow up a balloon in my house and I blow it too much and it explodes, that's because it's hit a dome? Well, if you, if you had helium in it, it depends on the spackling on your ceiling. No, no, I'm just holding it in my hand, right? And I'm blowing a balloon up, right? And it gets really, really big, but then I take another breath and it explodes. Did it hit a dome? No, you blew it up with your breath, but nobody was blowing on that balloon, though. No, but the pressure inside the balloon was getting greater and greater and greater. As you can see by the fact that throughout that video, the size of the balloon increases. Would you like me to show you? But if the balloon increases... Okay, well, explain this. To me. Right, how right. come... Look, like, how just come... look here, just look. Wait, 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 Trey. Just wait, 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 wait. One, thing at, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Look at the size of the balloon here. All right? Okay. You and then as, as it goes on, you can see it gets bigger, and it gets bigger, and okay. it gets bigger, and cool it gets story, bigger, bro. until it explodes. I have a question, though. I have a question. Don't eat the purple it crayons. It explodes, right? 
Yes. So the expansion is caused. So the expansion that is caused by the lack of atmosphere doesn't Correct. affect the actual atmosphere. Sorry. The expansion that causes the balloon to explode because of lack of atmosphere doesn't affect the atmosphere. It just it sucks all the helium out of the balloon to the point or to the to the surface of the what balloon. What are you talking about? It causes it to actually expand so much that it can no longer rise. However, the actual atmosphere that we have around us is held down by gravity. Okay. Oh, one sec. Yeah. There appears to be someone at my front door. Just bear with me. Me too. I gotta, I gotta go take, take a whiz. Be right back. Apologies, guys. I'm, I'm back. Someone was knocking at my door at like one o'clock in the morning. All right. Uh, while Trey's doing his thing, let's have a look at the chat. <laughs> Junk Shop Library says it's the NASA agents hide the grid lines. I thought it was one of my neighbors coming to shout at me for um, being too loud. I was like, oh shit. Okay. Uh, quick question. Right. Yes. Go on. What, what's your question? Okay. So let's say that this this balloon, which was full of a lighter than air um, element, literally traveled through the atmosphere. Yeah. To a distance of how long? How how high was this? Thirty six thousand kilometers. I think that was like about thirty eight thousand when it um, popped. Okay. And the gravity that exists could not pull this balloon back down. It did after the balloon popped. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But this low this low pressure system does not affect the ability for our air to literally just be sucked off the planet what okay why doesn't the air get sucked away and i know you're going to say what do you mean why doesn't the, the air pressure, gravi gravity the pressure, obviously the what gravity gravity okay yes but gravity so you're saying that the ability gravity uh, you oh, fucking retard gravity uh, have you ever heard that. of don't fucking do gravity gravity don't do that don't do that gravity you know I was about to make a point you know i was about to make a fuck mm, you knew i was about to make a point so here's gravity the you fucking retard Stop. you do that again i'm quitting okay oh you know, you, i swear i win the wait rage quit man that's cool I'm not rage quitting. You're, you're, you're honestly, you're really immature, and you're. Uh, honestly yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not immature. I'm just pointing out how much of a fucking idiot you are, dude. I'm not. I'm not an idiot, and you know yeah, that. You really That's are. why you keep wanting me to come here. Let me explain something to you. I want you're you to come here because people that love seeing you be stupid. For that balloon to have the 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 literal okay literal the dense the density of an object outweighs the property of gravity or the. Law yeah, of well, gravity, gravity it, it creates a force in one direction. You can have forces acting in other directions. So the force of that helium, which weighs less than air, surpasses That's, yeah. that of gravity. Well, the, so do you know the, the it creates a buoyant becomes, force. Do you know? Do you know how to calculate the buoyant force? Yeah, I know how to calculate a buoyant. Tell force, me how to calculate the buoyant thing. force. Here's the thing, though. Tell what me how to calculate the buoyant see, force. Tell me how to you, calculate the buoyant force. How come when you blow a balloon underwater, it doesn't explode? Whenever you if you kept you blowing it up, go, it probably it would. To, it floats to the top. How come there's no actual? How come there's no? 
Center point. No right, anyway, you, uh, you uh, uh, I asked you a specific question. You said you know how to calculate I'm the buoyancy force. Well, yeah, the we'll buoyancy get to that after there? my question. I asked first. If it's first. buoyancy, why Dude, does it just do that? Hello. Huh? Why what? Does it just what is that happy medium? How do you calculate the buoyant force? How do you calculate that balloon not going beyond this medium right here? By using how the buoyant force equation. That? How come it keeps going? Why doesn't it just stop? It because we can use the stop. we can use the buoyant force it's equation. Stopped. We can use the buoyant force equation to figure out where it will stop. So please tell me, because you just said you know how to but calculate it didn't the buoyant. Wait, it, I'm it I'm asking you a stop. question. What is the equation for calculating the buoyant force? What is the equation for explaining how that balloon exploded? The pressure or, or uh, inside got bigger than the structural integrity of the balloon. Really? Because yes. Because there was less atmosphere pressing reach, on the it balloon. Reach the actual asp it should reach the top and just stop. But it's why? Why again, should it just reach stopped. the top and stop? Because what happens when you when you okay? Let's take a buoyant object, put it underwater. Okay. Yeah. There's if still pressure there. There's no pressure up there. There's no pressure up there. Okay. No. There's pressure. Uh, uh, my uh, point. There's pressure uh, when my you point. get to. That, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me answer the question pressure. you just asked. Let me answer the question you just asked. There is pressure at the top of water when you get to the atmosphere. There is not pressure where that balloon popped at the edge of space. That is why it popped. And how does how does our oxygen stay in? Gravity. Gravity, okay. you fucking retard! Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? That's how. How come the balloon just didn't stop? Because if gravity, it, what, it's a real why thing. would it just stop? Because the buoyant force was still pushing it up. But gravity was pulling it down. Yes, because there can be opposite forces. So you're telling me you, that right, wait, that you do realize really that you can have more. You do realize you can have more than one force acting on an object at a time, right? No, you. I think you just have one force acting on it, and that's buoyancy. Holy fuck! You. Did you just say you can only have one force acting on something at a time? No, I'm saying there's only one force acting on it, and that's buoyancy. Oh, but buoyancy requires gravity. No, it doesn't. Gravity isn't real. Uh, well, gravity's in the buoyancy equation. <laughs> gravity is in the buoyancy equation. Okay, whatever yes. you want to say. I'm just telling you, but uh, are you Well, Are you denying that the uh, downward acceleration caused by gravity is part of the buoyancy equation? I'm saying that there is only the density equation. What's the equation for density? The density means the mass and the actual size of the object and medium. The volume of the medium versus the volume of the mass. Yeah, that, that's not density. It's density. Yeah, the density yeah, so, of the object versus the density yeah, of the, the so medium. So that can inside. calculate yeah. how things move or why they move. The buoyancy if equation does. Has more, right, more uh, again, circle. anyway, you, I, want, I want to clarify because you told me you know how to calculate the buoyant force. So please tell me and the 700 plus people watching how to calculate the buoyant force. There's no such thing as gravity. Uh, no, 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 that's, no, not no space, Trey, that's not what I There's asked you, Trey. Trey, that's not what I asked you. Trey, that's not what I asked you. Specific question. Specific question. You like said you know how to calculate the buoyant force. So please tell me and the 700 plus people watching how to calculate the buoyant force. Write it out for me. Where are you now, your prophets, which prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babylon shall not come against you nor against his land therefore hear now i pray thee O my lord the king let yeah i'm just gonna mute you whilst you're doing that because it's pointless right so he's just gone into bible flurf um so uh, i guess we'll just read super chats then because he doesn't know how to calculate the buoyancy equation because he's a liar he doesn't even realize that he's muted and he's still look look, look at his stupid face Look at his stupid face spouting from that nonsense book that was written by sheep herders 4,000 years ago when he's still muted. Like a fucking moron. Have you finished? Uh, I'll unmute you now. So anyway, yeah, about that buoyancy equation. You got that? You saw him mute me, right? Because I was speaking truth. That's well, one no, thing I, I you just, can't say. Uh, unless you answer truth. the question, I'm, I'm going to mute you. I'm not speaking your nonsense. Unless, I answer, unless you answer the question... 
Unless you answer the question, I'm going to mute you. Because you what, told you me, the, you, you told me, you buoyancy? told me, Trey, that you know the buoyancy equation. So tell us the buoyancy equation or you're being muted. I don't muted. know the buoyancy equation. Then why did you lie to me? Is. Then why I did you lie to me? You. I, I, I asked you, do you know how I'm to calculate buoyancy? You. And you said yes. You hear what you want to hear. You're lying to these people. That's the only. I asked you, do you know how to calculate the buoyant One force? Day you will have and you said yes. Sins. I ask everyone watching this. Oh, don't right try now. and act Please like you've got understand. moral superiority to me, you anti Semitic prick. I sincerely hope every one of you understand that this man is. Lying I sincerely hope you never breed. I have. Do, do you know, Trey, man. everyone that's ever loved you was wrong. Do you understand that I love you? Do you understand? I, no, that? no. Please don't love me. I don't want that love. I love you. No, please you don't. Know, it's Greg, disgusting. It makes me feel creepy. Regardless of what you said to me, I would give my life in an instant. Everyone that's ever loved you was wrong. I would give my life for you in an I instant. I mean, you know when I said don't breed, I, I don't think that would be an issue because, let's face it, your personality is the best contraceptive known to man. I would literally give my life for you. Oh, cool. Um, can, can someone try and kill me, please? Can someone please try and kill me? And here's the thing. Anyway, um, when you realize back, back to this man evidence of the Earth being flat and non-rotating. You got any? In heart, got any evidence of the Earth being flat and non-rotating? Or it's flat. It's not though. And measurements, rotates. measurements show that Antarctica's it's not flat. Antarctica's made of salt, and there's Antarctica's not made of salt. You fucking right. moron. Hey guys, um, this guy up? on TikTok has a everybody. This guy on TikTok has a video saying that. Um, Joe Biden is his son. I mean, it's fucking hilarious. Um, now, Trey, I'm going to read Super Chats. You're welcome to hang around wanna, and get laughed I'm, at. I it's love up to you. you. I and, hate you. Uh, God bless every one of you. No God, no Jesus such thing. Jesus Christ died for us. And please. Jesus Christ died because the Romans didn't the like him. Ways, Craig. Please. You got, got please. anything else? Tell, uh, other than and, that, any evidence God of your fucking you. nonsense? You dumbass. God bless you. Yeah, okay. All right, anyway. Well, that's been fun, guys. What a fucking moron he is, huh? Wow. I destroyed him so bad that he just resorted to reading from the Bible at me. <laughs> uh, now, yeah, in situ does kind of mean, um, like, where it's from. And Parker sort of probe is in situ around, uh, you know, around the sun. Um, but spectrographic measurements aren't in situ uh, or anything. So, um, wowzers, that was a good one. Let's read the super chats. Guys, uh, there's not going to be a debate tomorrow. Um, or, or maybe, I think the next thing I have out will probably be Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I'm going to take a, a day off tomorrow, chill with my family, um, and, and Tuesday because my boy's birthday. Um, and then I'll try and release a new video Wednesday or Thursday, either be a stream or my next episode of Flirts of Idiots. I'm not sure yet. Um, but thank you very much for watching over the past like four or five days where I've chucked out a whole bunch of content. It's been amazing. And I, you, you guys are absolutely incredible. The, the financial support you give me is, is ridiculous. And I can never say thank you enough for the, the memberships and the, uh, the super chats and the Patreon. And I know not everyone's able to support financially. And if you want to help the channel, the best way that you can do that is by uh, sharing what I do on Facebook and Twitter. I get a massive amount of views from those platforms. Um, right, Super Chats. Alison for $2 says, Morning, why is all navigation based on the globe? Because it's a globe. Uh, Sarah Plagic for 99 cents with no message. Thank you very much. Uh, P. Barnes for 10 Australian dollars says, Gravity is only a theory. <laughs> he used the joke article that JM Truth tried to use before. Fucking hilarious. If gravity is the only theory, then what we've heard today about a dome and crayon scribbles on a post-it note. <laughs> Logical hillbilly. Um, Trey, do you ever get tired of making a complete fall out of yourself? Obviously not, because he keeps fucking coming back. <laughs> Draco Fire, $5. Didn't know it was possible for someone to be this stupid. I'm very impressed. The evidence is directly in front of his face, and he still ignores it. Uh, Gary Donnelly, for uh, he's been a member for 17 months, says this one's denser than a neutron star. Yeah, I'm surprised that like literally doesn't form a black hole. A mouth breather for five dollars says they are called the laws of thermodynamics, but they aren't considered laws for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laws aren't laws apparently, guys. Um, Eon Dust for five Australian dollars says trays an example of how some people can drink dishwashing cleaner despite all the warnings on it. Trays the reason why 
we need labels on packs of peanuts that say may contain peanuts and cocktail sticks that say warning contain sharp instruments or coffee cups that say warning contents may be hot. He's the reason we need those. Frankly, I think we should remove the warning labels and let stupidity sort itself out. Um, Angel Gamer for four months has been a member says does he know what occasion is yet? He doubled down on it being occasion. Uh, Quitty's Sprinkler has been a member for 24 months. Trey is JM Jr. using the same satirical archive. <laughs> That's going to make a brilliant fucking little video. Uh, P. Barnes, who's been a member for 24 months. It's called a law, but it's not a law. Trey, 2021. Tim Tully for $5 says, Trey has a PhD in YouTube. I doubt you can even get that, frankly. Um, Jeff C. for $5 million says, Trey didn't vote for the law of gravity. Therefore, there is a bot law of gravity. Um, the final nail for $5 says, is this guy from the US? Damn, unfortunately. It may be an indictment of the US education system. Tau Software for $5 says, Water, fire, air, and dirt. Magnetic comets. How do they work? <laughs> the final nail for $5 says, And kiss, and a kiss shirt. I quit. I'm dead laughing. Uh, Stephen York, seven ninety nine Australian dollars. Music theory is a written description of music. Because there's a theory of music. Does that not mean, does that mean music doesn't exist? Yeah. Same with germ theory and, you know, fucking idiots. <laughs> Uh, Steve six four six four five dollars is everything a lie but Trey's own narrative. Um, yeah, I think Trey's parents may have lied to him, and they were like, "No, no, no, you are smart. You're 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 very clever, little boy." Oh, fuck. Um, more stalker has been a member for nine months. Says yo mama is a yo yo d spin. Uh, Marty Mad Scientist for five Canadian dollars who says International Window Cleaning Association asks that you please stop throwing things at the dome. It's scary to clean, and we're having recruitment issues. Yeah, you'd need someone to clean the dome, especially with all the pollution that we put out. Which causes global warming, which Trey says isn't fucking real. Uh, David Gurf, $5, says, I think this guy's dad is huge and received brain damage in utero. <laughs> uh, Mark Beiser for six sixty-six dollars The first of all, Dunning-Kruger Club, as you don't know, you're in Dunning-Kruger Club. He is a resident of the top left, that's right. Alison for $2 says, is the dome water or physical structure? Decide. It's a physical structure that makes water out of nowhere, apparently. Um, C. Mitch Play for $5 says, Hey, has Mr. 196 IQ figured out how many degrees we're in a triangle? <laughs> 196 IQ, guys. Smarter than Einstein. Smarter than uh, Stephen Hawking. Smarter than me. Um, Technomancer and Magus for $5. The running out of water is him misunderstanding of global warming, shifting where the water is, and some places are going to suffer massive drought. Yeah, he misunderstands. It's kind of his thing. Philosopher King Gaming, um, member for 10 months, says, Trey, exactly how high is the dome? Give a testable value, not just somewhere up high. Give it at a given point, like over your head right now. Well, according to him, when Mr. Sensible's balloon popped, it hit the dome, and that was at about 38 kilometers. So thanks to Trey, we now have a testable point of the dome. Let, let's do something with that, shall we? Rachel O'Daniels for $5 Australian says, This guy lies and changes his mind so much, I'm not convinced he believes what he says. It's entertaining to watch you smash him. Uh, I do love smashing a flat earther. Wait, that sounded wrong. Um, Jake the Surgeon for $5 says, The Bible shouldn't be referenced in any discussion when it comes to history, morals or science. It's as wrong as a book could be on those subjects. Yeah, it's about as wrong as a book could be on most things, frankly. Yeah, I mean, it's got some okay things in, but, uh, I mean, it's not a good book. King Conquest for $4.99 says, This dude was dropped on his head on a regular basis throughout childhood and into adulthood, most likely. He never reached adulthood. Uh, Johnny Marr, who's been a member for 10 months. Trey, why is there curved water above your dome when it has to be flat and level on Earth? Uh, um, good fucking point, right? Tommy Grunveld, 50 Nokias. It's time for Radical and the whoopty fucking dome, Great. I should have played that. You're right. I didn't see that in time. Um, King Conquest 499 says, Trey, what's occasion? <laughs> Jake the Surgeon for $5. Trey, where you, where you, you inject the lead paint? Into the arm or straight up the nose into the frontal lobe? Um, he's just chugged it from birth. Like, seriously. I'm thirsty. Hey, you guys notice I'm losing more weight. Look at my thin faced. <laughs> Lord Luminous Poo for two dollars. He must mean grill lines because his brain is fried. Um, 
<laughs> Eddie Stone says, my weed plants are purple. Trey is right. Oh, purple and weed is good. That's good. Uh, Roger Smitten for $5 says, this brings me to my next point, kids. Don't do drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do drugs. Unless you're old enough. Jeff C for five Canadian dollars says, ask him about sextants. He would probably think I'm asking him for sex because it's got the word sex in. If you look in the pinned comments um, of the first debate against the painful truth, Bumpy Earth 420 is in there saying that firmament means, you know, hard and firm because it's got firm in there. Well, uh, according to him, sextants must only work if you're having sex or something. Go and laugh at Bumpy Earth 420 in, in the pinned comment on the first painful truth debate. Um, Lord Lewis Poof, two dollars says Jake the asshole made it there, made it where? Uh, um, might miss, be missing the context there. Junk Shop Library, who's been a member for four months, says it's the NASA agents hide the grid lines. No, it's my upstairs neighbour needing some some money. Um, I'm gonna go and check on that in a minute. Eon Dust for five dollars Australian says at this point I think he melted the crayons on the spoon and injected it straight into his veins. <laughs> Technomancer Magus for five dollars says the balloon hit the dome at thirty-eight thousand meters, which is roughly twenty-three miles. The dome is also thirty miles up as well. Please pick one height. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. So the dome is only thirty miles up, but he also said the sun is thirty miles in diameter. So the dome is filled entirely by the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of Luminous Poo, two dollars. This guy's so dense he has an event horizon. Matthew Hooks for five pounds says, I think having the balls to answer the door at 135 definitely deserves a super chat. He was about to make a point too. <laughs> I thought it was one of my neighbours shouting at me. So. <laughs> uh, it was one of my neighbours, but they weren't shouting at me. Sydney Terrell, 499 says, If density is a force, then why aren't the flurf's head stuck to the ground? Also, the Bible does not say it's flat. Stop saying that. No. No, the, the Bible doesn't really say anything because there's so many mistranslations and stuff. Um, Eon Dust for $5 Australian says, Thanks, sweetie. I ain't smart, but seeing you, Trey, makes me feel like a genius. Yeah, if ever you feel dumb, just watch one of my debates. Not not for me. I'm not dumb. That, that's going to be clipped, isn't it? Fuck. <laughs> Coordinate Zero for £10 says, I hate to say it, but you work against yourself by being childish and smug and giggling like a little kid. Your facts are correct, but the childish smugness is a turn off and keeps me from sharing your vids. Well, I'm sorry, coordinate video, but that's just who I am. Um, laughing at these morons m makes me feel happy. And also most people seem to enjoy it. I appreciate the super chat and I appreciate that my style is also not for everybody, but um, it's kind of what I do. But thank you for your super chat. I do appreciate it. Sparky NJ, uh, NJ who's been a member for 24 months says, I like Trey to ex I'd like Trey to explain why things roll downhill. I can explain that. Gravity, you fucking retard! Gravity! He did not like me playing that, did he? <laughs> uh, Free Ron for five dollars says, "Don't know how buoyancy don't doesn't know buoyancy, so he reads from a fictional book about a made-up god." Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mario X of five dollars Canadian says, "No need to insult him. As soon as the Bible comes into play, it's game over. Might as well argue with a pixel uh, to prep food." Yeah, but I, that's why I just muted him. <laughs> um, oh, guys, thank you so many super chats. Uh, Jake the Surgeon for five dollars says, "Trey, if you show a pregnant cow a stripped stick, will it give birth to a stripped calf?" What? Okay. Uh, Lord Lumis Poo for two dollars. Did he just try to excise fight? Yeah, he just tried to like convert me to Christianity or something. Um, Dick Insider, did I miss your super chat? Oh, that would have been the first one, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know why that's not there. Let me go back and check afterwards. I do apologize. 3-1 for $5 says, Can you start reading the Super Chats every 15 to 20 minutes so the Flurf can hear the questions, comments before they run away? Um, I would like to, but it doesn't always work like that. Um, I'll, try, I'll try it next debate and see how it goes, okay? Steve6464 for $5. No climate change, but leaves are turning blue because of climate change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Matthew Hooks, five pounds, says, Trey cleans the dome by licking it. It's just like a big window after all, right? <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Lord Luminous Poof, two dollars. Flurfs don't get invited to the sextants. 
Lodge kill hillbilly for five dollars. If the balloon hit the dome and stars are in the dome, shouldn't we have seen some big ass stars in that video? <laughs> Jeff C for five Canadian dollars says Trey said the sub was thirty six miles in diameter. His math is extremely bad. Team Star for Life for five dollars. Great show fight. Thanks for the laughs. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. River King K for five dollars. Craig, this is my second stream here, and it was hilarious. Keep it up. I didn't have the endurance to argue with these knuckleheads. I'm I'm gonna have some serious brain damage. Right. Um. Yeah, maybe I missed a few super chats. Let me just uh, go and check because they don't all seem to be showing at the beginning. Uh, I, if I do ever miss a super chat, I am extremely sorry and. Feel free to to contact me for a refund if I miss reading your super chat because I I make it a point of pride to try and read out every single super chat that I get. I know some channels like Modern Day Debate skip over a hell of a lot of their super chats, but I do try to read them all. So if I if you've ever super chatted me and I've missed it, um, send me an email, or contact me on Discord or something, and I'll happily refund you. All right. So the first one I read out was Alison. So let's see what was before that. Oh, wait, I've gone past. Yeah, sorry, for some reason, uh, Dick Insider, yours just got taken off of the list. I've had to go back into my studio to see it. So Dick Insider for two Canadian dollars says, this is my new name, previously Flurf Spiritard. Well, hello, Dick Insider. Um, welcome to the universe. You, you are a new creation. Um, Balthazar228499 says, can you read Super Chat slowly so the flat earthers can hear when it reverberates off the firmament? Um, yeah, they just argue about what hearing is and stuff, to be honest. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. Uh, the flat earther ran away when, whilst after reading the Bible at me. Um, engineer that thinks only one force can be applied at a time. Cation is pronounced cation. And the sun is 36, is 30 miles in diameter, while the dome is only 23 miles up so yeah brilliant good job dick inside say that carefully dick insider dick insider dick insider yes yes i i hear it now i hear it well that's it for tonight guys come back in a few days for uh, my next video please 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 share what i do to help me hit that 50k as soon as possible and remember stupidity is not a right Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the fight fight. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the fight fight. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the fight fight. Fight the flat. 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 Someone turn off the Gary bot before they leave, please.